Ick and crud. Ix. Bleh. Day. Meet the characters. Crud. Ick. Miss Puffy. Bob. Fun in the mud. What's wrong, Ick? Asked crud. I'm feeling bleh, said Ick. Bleh, asked crud. Yeah, said Ick. Sad, bad, bald. Oh, said crud. Then we need to fix that. You need to feel good, like me, buddy. Hmm, thought Ick. It would be great to feel like crud. Let me think of a way to cheer you up, said Crud. Would you like a dog bone? No, said Ick. I would not like a dog bone. Would you like to chase a squirrel? asked Crud. No, said Ick. I would not like to chase a squirrel. Would you like to see me dance? asked Crud. No, said Ick. I would not like to see you dance. No one would. Then what about some ice cream? asked Crud. Ick's up. I think I would like that, he said. Then let's get some, said Crud. Ick and Crud set off for the one place that always had ice cream. The park. They raced through the yard jumped over the fence and landed in Miss Martin's yard. Splat! Mud blew everywhere. This is not ice cream, said Ick. But it's gooey fun. Do you feel less bleh now? asked Crud. Ick shook his head. Only a little. Then let's keep going, said Crud. Just then, something moved above them. The two froze. I will if you will, whispered Ick. Ick and Crud slowly looked up. Miss Puffy sat on the fence. Her tail flipped from side to side. She licked her paws like they were lollipops. You two are disgusting, she purred. We what? asked Ick. Disgust. Oh, never mind, said Miss Puffy. How will you two ever get clean, like me? Maybe it'll rain again, said Ick. Crud looked up at the now clear blue sky. Or maybe not, he said. Miss Puffy lifted her head. The light bounced off something on her neck. What's that? asked Ick. You're blinding us, said Ick. It's my new collar, said Miss Puffy. Real diamonds. She stood and strutted up and down the fence. My owner bought it in Paris. Do you like? Crud rolled his eyes. Bob bought our collars closer to home said Ick. Bob made our collars, whispered Crud. Miss Puffy laughed, then she shook her head so a diamond collar sparkled in the light. Hey, Ick, whispered Crud. Wanna have even more fun? Yeah, said Ick. Then shake, said Crud. Shake, asked Ick. Yeah, said Crud. Shake like an earthquake. So Ick shook, and off flew the mud. Fling, sling, splash. Miss Puffy hissed and dashed away. Sorry, yelled Ick. Sort of, whispered Crud. Do you feel less bleh now? asked Crud. Ick shook his head. Only a little. Wait until we get to the park, said Crud. Glub, glub, glub. Ick and Crud skipped down the street, around the corner, and past the big trash cans. 
They stopped to sniff the cans, the trash around the cans, and then each other. Sniff, sniff. What a whiff. When they were finished sniffing, they ran down another street, around another corner, and into the park. They both skidded to a stop. Crud looked all around. Where is it? he asked. Where's what? asked it. The big pink truck, said Crud, with all the ice cream. It's not here, said Ick. What do we do now? I still feel bleh. Crud stopped to think, which is easy to do when you have ice cream in your belly. I've got it, said Crud. Would you like to play Bob? OK, said Ick. It's fun to play Bob. How do we play Bob again? I give an order, said Crud, and you do what I say. That is fun, said Ick. OK, said Crud. He put a stick in his mouth and tossed it away. Bitch! He helped Crud. Ick ran after the stick. He ran into the tall grasses until a butterfly flapped above him. He stopped to look at its black and orange wings. You're so pretty, Ick said. Then he rolled on his back and watched the butterfly dip down and land on his nose. So pretty, said Ick again. Hey, Ick, yelled Crud. Did you get the stick? The stick? asked Ick. He sat up. Yeah, the stick I threw, said Crud. Oh, that stick, said Ick. Where is it? Crud pointed. It crawled through the grass and looked all around. Here a stick, there a stick, everywhere a stick stick, but not his stick. Never mind, said Crud. Ick ran back to Crud. Let's try again, Ick said. OK, said Crud. Roll over and bark. You sound just like Bob, said Ick. So do it, said Crud. Ick did. He rolled to the right, then he rolled to the left. He rolled and rolled and rolled until he rolled right down the hill. And he rolled and rolled and rolled until he stopped at the edge of a small pond. Quote, quote, quote. What was that? asked Ick. Crud ran to him. Quote, quote, baby. Two eyes popped out of the water. A monster! yelled Ick. Ick jumped on Crud's back. Get off! said Crud. Crud swayed back and forth, and forth and back, and side to side, and up and down. Splat! The two fell into the pond. Glub, glub, glub. Ick popped out of the water. Growl. A frog jumped off his head. Goodbye, frog, said Ick. You're so pretty. Nothing like a monster. Then Crud popped out of the water. A frog sat on his face. He peeled it off. Well, these were clean now, said Ick. And, asked Crud, do you feel less bleh? Ick shook his head. Only a little. Crud sighed. Then he heard a noise. The noise he'd been waiting for. Get ready. Do you hear that ding, ding? Ding a gong? asked Crud. Yeah, said Ick. What is it? It's the ice cream truck's bell, said Crud. Run! The two raced up the hill, through the tall grasses, and to the side of the big pink truck. A tall thin man handed out ice cream cones, big ones, little ones, and ones with sprinkles. But he didn't give Ick and Crud one. He didn't even seem to see them. What do we do now? asked Dick. Stand next to a kid, whispered Crud. The smaller the better. Why? asked Dick. They're the first to drop their cones, said Dick. Then what? asked Dick. Then you lick like your tongue is on fire. Got it, said Dick. My tongue is ready. Ick scooted over to a short, short kid. 
Ick looks up. The little boy licked at his cone. Yam, thought Ick. Double yam, thought Crud, and he barked louder than he meant to. The frightened kid dropped his cone. <coughs> Get it, yelled Crud. Ick dove for the cone, his tongue ready for the lick lick licking. <coughs> Ick grabbed the cone in his mouth and looked up at the little boy. Oh no, thought Ick. He feels more bleh than me now. So instead of woofing down the cone, Ick handed it to the boy. The kid grabbed the cone and went back to licking. The tall thin man poked his head out of the truck to see what all the crying was about. He spotted Ick and Crud. Scram! he yelled. Run! said Crud. The two raced around the big pink truck behind the long park benches along the bike path and onto the sidewalk. They skidded to a stop. Sorry about the ice cream, said Crud. Not me, said Ick. No, asked Crud. Now, said Ick, I no longer feel bleh. Now, I feel like Ick. Like Ick, asked Crud. Yeah, said Ick, I feel like myself again. Great said Crud. Then let's go home, buddy. And off they went, sniff, sniff, sniffing, all the way home. The end.